thanks for coming by. It's been a couple of years. Three, maybe even more. So a lot has changed, as you would expect. Thank you to the four of you that have tuned in. Uh, it's locked down at the moment in New South Wales, and I am so bored. You probably are too. And I thought this would be a fun way to pass the time. So I'm back. For now, anyway. So motorbikes are gone. There are kids now. Long story. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, motors are gone. So if, you, if you're here for MT10 and MV Augusta stuff, it's all over, man. Game over, dude. Um, so as we grow older, we will, men especially, we become mammals. And I have succumbed to this as well. You might be able to see a couple of bikes around the place. And for better or worse, that's my special interest at the moment. And that's what this is going to be about. So I thought today I would show you the bikes, what's been happening, um, and talk a little bit about what I may or may not film in the future. So come along. All right, so I thought I'd just show you what is in the stable. The first thing is a road bike, not very exciting. Uh, or it is, you're into road bikes, that's cool, I am too. Uh, I just don't know what I would film with road bikes, but anyway, here it is, the Scott CR120. So that's carbon, 105. It has massive ammo down the back here for fat people like me to get up Cat 4s. Sick! Uh, that's it, I don't know, did I say carbon, 105? I already said that shit. A little bright and right 10 there, little amateur computer. It's a nice spinner, man. Size 54 or whatever. Anyway, I'll move you on to the next one. So the next one's a bit weird actually, Cannondale Quick CX, and it's an older one because the new ones are like just a boring everyday, you know, commuter, boring bike for people that don't like bikes. Here it is, look at that, how strange. Has a, I think it's a 50 mil head shock. Uh, it's a bit different, turn it on and off here, unusual. Uh, 38 I think tires, something like that. So it's got gravel rims, disc brake, uh, what's it got? I think it's Dior, no SLX, like something like even a little bit fancy. Uh, nine speed, three by nine, so it's old. Pretty cool bike. Haven't put a lot of Ks on this thing. Every single time I ride it, I get a flat tire. Don't know what that is about at all. But anyway, something strange. I'll probably end up selling this thing just because I don't use it much. So if you're keen, hit me up. So the next thing is going to be the star of the channel, at least for a little while until I get bored of it. Uh, it is a Merida Big Trail 500. So there you go. If you've been looking for a new bike lately, you'll realize that there aren't that many around. So you get lots of entry level stuff or super, super high end stuff, like 10 grand cool stuff, but Who's got the money? This is around two grand. So ideally, there's, this is a 500, there's one above it, a 600 and one below it, a 400. Fancy that, hey? Anyway, I couldn't find a 600 and the Merida Big Trail wasn't really my first pick anyway. So these bikes are your do-it-all trail bike. Bit of XC, trail, um, you can do anything on it. It's got weird little mount things for mud guards and um, carriers, stuff like that. Anyway, I can give you a little bit of a walkthrough. As you can see, it's missing a derailleur. We'll talk about that in a moment. So it runs a Dior 11 speed. But what's cool is this new Dior does 11 to 51, so super wide range. Sort of the range that you would get on a 12 speed. For, you know, the derailleur I just purchased to replace the one I broke was 65 bucks. So how cool is that? Runs Rock, RockShox Recon Silver RL or RL Silver, um, 140 mil air shock. It's pretty cool, um, entry level, but at least it's not a Sun Tour, right? It's got a dropper, Merida dropper, but I'm pretty sure it's one of those Trans X things, whatever they're called. I haven't done anything to it. I've changed the pedals. The pedals that come with this thing, poo poo. Uh, it's, I mean, it's cool that it actually comes with pedals, but they're just garbage. So I've upgraded those to a one-up composite thing. They're probably a bit big, but cool for now. 
Uh, what else do you want to know? That's basically it for that. Now, what happened to this bike? I went for like my second ride, right? Cruising along like a dickhead. And I got the wheel caught, or a stick caught between the wheel and the derailleur. And this is really the aftermath. I'll put it up here so you can see. So, you can see here, that's broken there. And on this side here too. Anyway, just, this only just came in the post today. 65 bucks from Bike Bug. Pretty cool. So we'll see if we can make some magic happen. Now, I need to stress, I have no idea what I am doing. I've never done this before. Um, I'm not particularly mechanically minded. So, one of two things is gonna happen, right? I'm gonna do it, and it means that you can do it too. No problem, if you have no idea. Otherwise, or the, the second option is I can, I get it on, but um, I have to take it to someone to fix my mistakes. Let's see what happens, huh? Now, I've got just a set, because I'm not a bike mechanic, and I've never claimed to be, I've just got a set of, you know, standard Allen keys, and I think that's pretty much all you're gonna need to do a thing like this. I've just gotta remember how it all worked. Perhaps I should set these screws, so that's a B limit screw or something, that's about the alignment of the derailleur. And then these two are about um, limiting how far that way or that way it can go. So they're not as complicated as maybe you would think. But let's see what happens, huh? editing Redbeard here. I lost the audio for a lot of that footage. So it's just going to be one little short vid with a quick little time lapse. I just wanted to tell you too, after mucking about with the cable tension, the B limit screw and the upper and lower limits, it works sweet as. Um, no dramas, had a little fang around the backyard. So if I can do it, you can do it. Just give it a crack. There's heaps of stuff on YouTube. The moral of the story is, I've never done that before, just did it. It was fine. You can do it too. So next video, hopefully, I'll take you up to that little trail up the road and we'll have a little fang around. I might crash. I did last time, hence the broken derailleur. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching and I'll see you next time.